the uh, the straw come out, and then I need to run over here. Do the cut in here. So 60, 60, 75, 77, 8, 9, 0. There we go. And we are heading straight for that island. So the advantage with cutting in here is we should end up to the island easily. And I won't have to worry about the harvester being as full halfway down the road. We're going to have to keep an eye on it anyway. But uh, worst comes to the worst, I can turn around and come back on the left side of us and that will give me room for the uh, grain cart to head down here. I might even end up back at the top of the field, you never know. I doubt it. Looking at this, we're at we got three thousand liter capacity. And of course, I don't think the class is going to make this turn either. do your thing, get stuck on a tree or whatever you're going to do. Okay, I will jump out and give him a hand because he is not... Oh, you don't... Okay, you drive in the crop. At least when it's a worker it's not destroying the crop, so... Going to end up with part of a straw windrow not picked up. Again, yeah, and like I said, it really doesn't matter, it's just... We're doing this for bonus cash. So, we got a thousand litres approximately left in the tank. Definitely not going to make it to the top. I think part of the... the while I'm saying, yeah, it, it's... It's not too much of an issue. You know, bigger harvester has a bigger grain tank, but the head is wider, so I'm I'm only going to get down and back up as far as I did, potentially with a bigger harvester. The difference is is because of the the, the width. It's easier for me to snake this grain trailer down there and not get tangled up with any of the the bales because the bales are going to be spaced wider. They're going to be more frequent because the windrow is going to be deeper. Looks like it might be wider on this side. Edge our way through there nicely. And 21.9. Ooh, that's approximately going to be full. Not a problem. I'm still going to... Uh, I'll carry on harvesting, fill up the harvester, but I may run with a... No, the harvester should still have about 27 litres or something ridiculous in it when this is done. Turn the engine off. The... And I do like the paint wear on this. I think that's something, so 527, yeah, close. I think that's something that changed in the V1.2 patch for Farm Sim 22 is, is they made the paint wear a little bit more noticeable. Because um, that was one of my complaints. Yeah, when it started off, it's sort of, oh, well, it's 23,000 to repaint your tractor. And I'd look at it and say, it doesn't look much different from when I bought it. So really not worried about um, paint wear, but now I think they've they've adjusted that 
so the, the tractor does look like it needs to get resprayed. However, I'm still not going to do it because it's 23,000 to respray it. And um, it looks lived in when it's worn out. So, yeah, I'm sticking with it. This, this has 52 hours on it. Can't remember where they um, fudged in about 40 or not. I mean, it does run, you know, the diff difference between this and our Challenger or our case is I did add about 80 hours to both of those um, as we were continuing the series rather than um, uh, rather than um, starting from scratch, you know, starting over afresh. So I think we get to the edge here, I am going to back up a little just because those trees are now a problem. Alrighty, let's... Now later on when we get to sort of freeing up the edges of the island I'll probably do a loop around the island so we'll get that curved bit at the beginning of this row. Not a big deal. And we're still making good progress, so yay for that. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get the other field of spelt in today. Um, but it really now, it's going to depend on the weather. As we said, you know, it's due to rain until about 3 o'clock. The ground, I mean, it's 52 degrees. Um, it's not overly scorching weather. But, to be fair, it could dry out by 6, 7 o'clock. We could come out in the hours of darkness and uh, get the other fields started, potentially. Yeah, I think what I was saying about doing a loop around the island, we'll do that at the end of this row, because obviously now... Oh, actually we won't, because we'll be full and we're going to have to cart back to the farm. And another advantage of Farm Sim 22, I could have sent that wagon back to the farm to unload and then come back to the field. in 22, which is not something I can do here. So now I'm going to have to jump out and go for a short drive. And we will take a, a wide path through here. So the problem with the grey cart this size is obviously it's not very agile. But 30,000 litres per uh, run is, it's a goodly size. And I am thinking about possibly another 30,000 litre car. Um, but we'll need a, a tractor of sufficient horsepower to help. Obviously we have one, but then I can't run the baler. And there's no way I'm doing a separate bale run. it's just gonna it, it's gonna make the uh, the whole harvest just too long so um, yeah having a baler on follow me that's fine me having to do baling uh, no no thank you because like I said I mean the income it isn't great but it's yeah with the size of fields we have it is probably quite significant so uh, oh, not turning enough. All 
I actually remembered this year, and I haven't done anything about it. I forgot that um, Euro Truck Sim and American Truck Sim run uh, Christmas delivery events for uh, fancy little bonuses. And I forgot all about it this year. In fact, I think I forgot all. Well, I didn't for. I didn't forget all about it last year, I just couldn't be bothered last year. This year I just completely forgot all about it. They're probably still running and will be for the next two, three weeks. That's the thing with that. I mean, if I put my mind to it, I could just go out there and just knock out all the deliveries in one session. But, uh, like I said, I just completely forgot. I'm going to do a tab to the tr the harvester because that's that's one other thing. There there's a new mod on 22. I believe it's also on 19 where you can tab to a vehicle you can see. So I can see that I can press Alt and click on the tractor and I'll jump to it. And this situation here is the only time that that is a for me a noticeable benefit is because the harvester and the tractor are too close together and you run to the gap between them and it's uh, depending on where you're standing it's uh, yeah, evens chance that you end up in the wrong one especially with the, the starter harvesters so many times I've sort of okay I've got to jump into the other tractor, yeah, easy, and uh, drive it over to the harvester to unload, and then I jump out of the tractor, run round, and uh, stand next to the harvester, and of course press the enter button and I'm back in the tractor, it's, oh, seriously, didn't need that. So yeah, we'll just run round the island here, pretty sure the, uh, the baler is going to find following this path fairly simple. It's not an overly tight turn. I wonder how many bales we've made actually. Gentle turn back the other way. Well, that's not so gentle, is it? And we are back on the road. <coughs> so we've got the final row on the left again. Again, not a full head of width, but. I mean, as you can see, I, it, for the most part, I'm you know using GPS on a a harvester is not that big an issue, I think, um, just because of the way I, yeah I I can do this by eye. It's really easy. I'm quite pleased that GPS has come out for FS22 because as I say, it, it is a a tool I I take advantage of at times. And it just being out so early on in the uh, development, um, that's, yeah, that's a really nice thing. But I think that possibly serves to some testament that FS22 and FS19 scripts, um, there's very little difference between them. Um, you know, Porting an FS19 script onto FS22 is very straightforward comparatively with, I think, FS19 to FS17. We did it, it took a long time for some of the FS17 script mods to make their way onto FS19. But yeah, we had a slew of scripts out pretty much within the first week on FS22. So... I mean, we didn't get the, what's it, the easy development tools, which 
I kind of prefer to the power tools, but the power tools are there. I don't use them. I haven't used them. Um, the lumberjack mod is out. Um, that was a very late thing for 19, although it wasn't available in 17. But whoever did the lumberjack mod for 19 has pretty much got it ready to go on 22 within the first two, three weeks. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Can we fit through here? No, we're just going to smash everything. Let's go, Hulk. Big green harvester. Big green harvester smash. And another patch of dead crop. So, yeah, it, it, that piece on the right is nothing I could have done to prevent that from happening. However, it's. Um, it's not the entire field, so yeah, it's just one of those random events that happens and you live with it. Kind of like weather in, in, yeah, weather things and what have you. Now, difference between 19 and 22, obviously. As soon as it starts raining, my harvester is going to grind to a halt and I am not going to be able to do anything with it. Um, in 22, you can still harvest when it's raining, but you take a big yield hit on your harvest, so it's, it's best not to. Okay, so we've got still got a good pack capacity left in the tipper, so this is going to be... Uh, we're going to be able to perform a cut in here, and I kind of figure we're now on diminishing returns to the right of us here, so every row we do is going to be shorter. Come on, there we go. Turn that on. Dump a smattering more of uh, rain as we leave. Okay, so this is not going to uh, impede on the island at all. It's actually going to be interesting, I guess. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we end up with. Obviously, the patch directly to the south of that island is still needs to be done. But we're pretty much heading off into this part of the field, so we'll get to this far edge and then worry about uh, the bits what we missed. Okay, again, oh, we're in the yellow yield area, so contrast yellow to white, not brilliant. A little bit too much. Now I believe the the map coordinates that are displayed on the bottom of the mini map they are in meters. So technically, I jump out here. So I'm standing at four fifty seven eighteen oh five. Um, I am heading 170, so let's face 180. So if I hit face pretty much exactly 180 and press the right button, um, we're counting upwards. So from 460, if I want to go 10 meters to the left, I can do that. And I am 10 meters from where I just stood. If I'm using a piece of equipment that has a 5 meter working width, then I'll do two and a half meters to that way, two and a half meters to that way. When I come back, I'll do the center row and I'll have two and a half meters left to do. So you don't need GPS, but you do need to be able to do math 
and that's not usually something I try to do on a stream. But you can you can math it out. So you can if you position the harvester on the row, and then say, oh, I'm at 465. My harvester width is 12 meters. I need to go, you know, factors of 12, and then add a, a half. And I can if I do a cut in at that point, I should end up with almost precisely a. Uh, oh, it's starting to rain. That's it. I will jump into. Oh, you can stop doing your thing. You're sitting there. That's where we went. So we'll take the green in before it gets too wet. It is 8:20. I think we are going to get a yield hit at 10.30 and at 11 o'clock. So I need to move the bales as quickly as I can before those... Uh, let's try to drive sensibly. Uh, before um, I take a hit on the... too much of a hit on the straw. We'll sell the store, straw at the yard here. Just because it's easier. And that is going to block off everywhere. Oh, I can... I shouldn't, but I can turn the engine off. We'll go grab our truck. Wow, this needs a clean. We'll sell the stuff to the yard, the, to the right there. Really? I have got that thing so tightly wedged. Nope, we're good. Wow. Oh no, Long Hall is watching. He's going to have something to say about that. <laughs> okay, let's grab this flatbed and uh, see how many bales we can nab. Now the other benefit of using an autoloader, whether it's one of these or our uh, normal bale collection trailer wherever I hit that, is that as soon as a bale is on the back of it, it is not a physical object in the game. It's an image on the back of a trailer. And so all of a sudden weather stops affecting them. Which is... yeah. That, it is what it is, but um, and we can also drive through hedges because they're not a physical object. The bale, the hedge can't see the bale. That's an issue. Okay, let's get this thing set up, operating position done. Let's grab as many as we can. This truck is struggling a little. Um, I'll stay away from the clover. Worst comes to the worst, we can wrap the clover and it's another silage bale. Not that I need another silage bale, but it's another silage bale. So. And the bale over there, I'm just going to ignore that completely. Because the only way to get to it is going to be a tricky manoeuvre down the uh, that row. And then I have to try and find a way out. Okay, four more on the back. One, two, three. Four, oh no, and another layer. So we just need nine more. Ooh. 
Okay, no idea if these are still 4,000 litre bales or whether they've... Uh, they've decayed or they shouldn't have done because it's still... It's not hit the half half hour mark. Ooh, try not to tip. That would be a bad thing. And then of course the easiest way into this shed. Actually the easiest way into this shed is possibly to drive down the, uh, the little path to the right or left of the shed or from where we are. I think I'll probably do better doing this way. Assuming I don't get the truck wrapped around the gatepost. Yeah, I kind of messed this up a bit. like I might actually make it this time. But all of these bales are perfectly safe at the moment just because kind of messed this up again, didn't I? Okay, um, operating position, no, transporting position, unload bales, on the floor we're going to have to go back to operating position then tra transporting and load and to heck with it oh I left it in reverse that's a bite Just kick those over there and done. Okay, so 277 for bales per bale, so really not great income, um, but 